Far away in another time, in another place, lived a boy whose childhood was perhaps nothing short of a dream. With the sea by his side and plants and flowers as friends, he'd gaze up at the sky as the stars moved with the precision of a Piaget timepiece. Little did he know then that his work would be celebrated now at the Victoria and Albert Museum, more than 62 years after the date of his death. Today, we're having coffee with Christian Dior. Christian Dior's life is an argument for two contradictory needs, both our need to be awakened by something spiritual like astrology, as well as our subconscious need to stay asleep, to turn a blind eye to the very stars that govern our lives. You see, Christian Dior believed in astrology, tarot and psychics, consulting readers regularly throughout his life. And on the one hand, it was a good thing that he did. Upon sound counsel, he made it through some very tough times. Being penniless, fighting tuberculosis, these were things he was able to do as a reader told him to hang in there, that he'd be famous in years to come. As we can see in Christian's Mahadasha setup, the toughest years occurred just before Venus Mahadasha opened up, around the time of Rahu maturation, at age 42. And as we can see here, his birth chart tells the tale of his life quite nicely. Sun and Saturn come together in the fourth house to practically guarantee business success, with Saturn seated in his own house, indicating a journey of growth where you build the business from zero to the top. Mars in first house Libra is signifying a great industrialist. Christian Dior was the first to license his name onto other products. He set the fast pace of fashion changing every six months, and he was the first to expand into foreign lands. Moon and Venus are well placed, and both feature very high Ishtafala scores. The two most feminine planets powerfully granting his desires at every step of the way. But where's the fame, you might be asking? After all, it was Pierre Cardin that once said, throughout the world, what other name has lasted this long? In the end, he worked 10 years while I worked 60, and his has remained the magic name throughout the world. While the fame may not be so obvious on an initial glance, it's there in a big way. Christian's Rahu Ketu axis is beautifully positioned for massive fame. Ketu Venus in an air sign in a firehouse, and Rahu in a fire sign and air house. Through the elements, we can see that the flame of his life received plenty of fanning. In broad open skies, his fire had plenty of room in which to flare up, flames which are still being fanned to this very day. But back to his interest in astrology, was it a boon or a curse? As we can see in the chart here, many planets surround his Ketu. Not much energy appears on the Rahu half at all. This can mean a person feels heavy with past, and according to friends he had a lonesome personality, which feels very Ketu-like to me. Christian spent as much time lamenting his meteoric rise as he did in the experience of it, trying to escape the limelight, retreating back to the peace and quiet offered by a blank canvas and countryside retreats. Even though readers told him success was coming his way, when it came, he couldn't fully enjoy it. Plus, he left this earth far too soon, when he was only 52 years old. Christian Dior's life makes us ask the question, is it always good to know the future before it happens? And to me, his life was the answer, that even if you know, fate can't be stopped. And sometimes it's best to just be a boy, not knowing what's next, with the sea by your side and plants and flowers as friends.